Season 24 of The Voice has finally aired with a fiercely competitive Top 12 night. How are three going to go home tomorrow with just two weeks left until the season finale? It's time for viewers to vote, and viewers aren't going to have an easy time of it. After weeks and weeks of blinds, battles, knockouts, playoffs, and even a few clip shows, and with only two weeks left in season 24, The Voice finally aired. Monday, and the top 12 semi-finalists included teams, Reba, Legend. Niall and Gwen finally competed for America's vote. It was a night of intense competition, with host Carson Daly saying it already felt like the finals, and then Carson said angrily, How are the three going home tomorrow? How does this even happen? Good question. Carson, viewers won't have an easy time. Especially since there's a new rule this season that only allows one vote per email address, meaning no more mass voting for multiple contestants at once. It also looks like there won't be team quotas. So Tuesday's result could show how popular the current coaches, including new coach Reba McIntyre, are among voice fans. Let's evaluate two dozen Monday performances. And finally, for the first time this season, make some predictions, Jackie Rohr Team Reba. Wild Flowers and Wild Horses This country rock diva was hit by the now ubiquitous country girl Linny Wilson, which was a risk, but she did, giving Tanya Tucker, Gretchen Wilson, Miranda Lambert a riot with this tossing, kneeling, hat-throwing, glove-throwing powerhouse. Reba called the number fun and Niall Horan marveled that he had never seen Jackie look so comfortable on stage. It was a great opening for the show. But the problem with going first is that it's known as the death spot in reality TV. Here's hoping Jackie roars loud enough to not be forgotten at the end of this action-packed two-hour episode, Meanie Iris Tim Nile, Love Song. The American Dream is Real. The Georgia-born dark pop diva announced that she's celebrating her U.S. citizenship by performing on one of America's most popular TV shows. Meanie belted out a classic cure, though clearly Adele's version was heavily torched and he was performing all the drum and vocal acrobatics as he stood on a cube-shaped platform in gothic garb, surrounded by a string quartet. There was nothing subtle about this performance, and while I acknowledged his commitment and passion, I could see it being a little too much for some viewers, but Nini's coach, Niall, seemed confident of his star's ability, even joking, and a warm-up too, before declaring the effort absolutely spectacular. Kara Than Tim Gwen, love performing a Kershia Cole ballad that just so happens to be Chance the Rapper's all-time favorite. As a guest coach, the 90s at 1000s are, and B Powerhouse was absolutely classy. And she received a standing ovation from the panel. Kara was all grace and effortless. But her problem might be the opposite of Nini's, she made it look a little too easy, however. Gwen Stefani loved Kara's natural and pure confidence. And John Legend noted that Kishia's song is harder than it sounds, and thought Kara nailed it. Tanner Massey Team Gwen Thanks FRTH Mears, this was the first and really only big miss of the night. Fall Out Boy may be Tanner's favorite band, but he had to change the complicated, wordy arrangement to make things FRTH Mears work for his pop style, so it was a stupid choice. His vocals were weak, and nowhere near Patrick Stump's level, and his performances didn't match the song. The result was bad, unconvincing, and completely lacking in merit. Gwen admitted that she was worried, but she thinks Tanner has done better than expected, and that she's still looking for him. Meanwhile, Reba faintly praised Tanner for improving with baby steps throughout the season. I don't think Tanner should have made it to the top 12. I'm still pissed that Gwen saved him over the more ready-to-play Lennon Van Derdos. And while he might make it to the next round, based on his youth, heartbreaking charm, this should be the end of the road for him. Leela Ford Team Legend, close to good. Ruby Lee Tim Reba, you lie. Humbly Tim Nile, with a little help from my friends. Ozon Team Legend, former agent. Jordan Reiner Tim Reba Saint, Ranger in my house. Mara Justin Tim Nile, losing control. McCroyles Team Legend, I can't make you love me. Bias Tim Gwen, God will destroy you. So now is the time to forecast. In the live premiere of season 24's results, the top 12 will become the top 9 as 8 contestants make it through public voting and the remaining bottom for Sing for instance save. I think the company is at risk. Contestants who better have their hopefully wisely chosen Save Me songs ready to go are Jackie. Only because she went first Monday. Kara, 
and a Zon, because they could split the 90s R and be Diva Vote, Nini, Tanner, and maybe even Jordan. Who will prevail? Tune in Tuesday and find out. Oh man, I still go, go, go.